Hello, Cancer viewers. So the last reading I did, I was getting that you felt rejected by someone in the past, but in reality, they were actually just shy and insecure. Um, this love is coming back around for the majority of you, it seems like, from what I'm channeling here. It feels like there was just a lot of miscommunication between you two. Like, you, they felt rejected by you. You felt rejected by them. Um... There's just a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of uh, a lot of fear that I think got in the way of this connection. Their fear or yours, or possibly both. I feel like you guys might have been actually mirroring each other, where it's like they might have been afraid and you might have been um, picking up on their anxieties and picking up on their fears. I feel like there's like a telepathic connection here too that came into play. So let's see what's going on with that now. Vulnerability, receptivity. Love offer, commitment. So yeah, it looks like someone that... Um, it, it, for most of you, I would say that this is them, that they're being vulnerable, they're being receptive. Maybe they needed to get all their ducks in a row. Maybe they just had to kind of go on their own and deal with their own insecurities and their own fears and their own issues. And now it looks like they are wanting to come back around with a love offer and give you some kind of commitment, some kind of surprise. Could be like a surprise phone call or text message as, as well here. Um, for some of you, this is also you. Because I, I, like I said, I do get that you guys are mirroring each other. So a lot of you are picking up on each other's energies and you're not even aware of it. It's like you're, you're feeling anxiety or something and or they're feeling anxiety and it's like you guys aren't, aren't recognizing that you're... Um, you know, like your your fears were affecting them and vice versa. Like you guys weren't fully aware of where that energy was coming from. And I think you guys kind of fed that fear in a way without even intending to. So for some of you, I feel like this is actually you or like you weren't fully receptive because you're like, why am I getting so scared around this person? Like, why am I having these anxieties? Why am I so afraid of losing them? And that reality might just be that they were afraid of losing you and you were picking up on that. And then you started feeling it yourself. So it's like, you see how it's kind of this vicious cycle. But it looks like um, one or both of you are, are more vulnerable now. You're more open to this. I feel like you've had some epiphanies regarding this connection. So it does look like... It does look like there's a love offer coming around if it hasn't come around yet. Um, I feel like some of you can get this ball rolling by using your own magic, your intention, your power, you know, manifestation, kind of visualizing what you want. I feel like some of you might be sending mixed signals to the universe. So some of you might be might be considering more than one person. Some of you might still be figuring out what you want. Some of you... Um, you know, those fears might have gotten stuck in your head a little bit and you're like, okay, is this really right for me? Like, would this person break my heart? Can I really trust this person? And use your own intuition. Like, you know, try to tell the difference between intuition and fear. Um, you know, I know it does get tricky sometimes. It's like, if your intuition is telling you that they're going to hurt you, then, then yeah, listen to that. But if you just you know, have come out of a bad relationship or you have a long line of, you know, a long history of being treated like crap by people. And then you have this person that treats you well. It's like kind of saying like, don't sabotage it either. You know what I mean? Like if it's unfamiliar, um, then go for it. You know what I mean? Like if your usual pattern, if what feels like home to you is usually toxic and then you have this person here that, you know, maybe wasn't your usual type, but they, you know, were treating you well, or there's just something different about that, then, something different about them, then, you know, listen to that. Listen to your intuition. Um, if there's red flags, like, listen to the red flags and the green flags. You know what I mean? That's, like, that's the difference. If there's red flags, and of course, listen to those red flags and don't go for it. But I think for a lot of you, it wasn't really red flags. It was, it was more like it was unfamiliarity, like, oh, this person is treating me so well, or this person is... Um, you know, like, they seem like they really love me, and you're like, you just, like, weren't used to it. Or, like, they were maybe, like, a little bit... Because I, I did get that this person was kind of shy. So, like, you felt like they were rejecting you, but, like, they, they weren't trying to reject you. They were just kind of shy and timid. So, like, maybe they're not as assertive as your usual type is. Something like that. You know what I mean? Like, but use your own intuition here. Um, and if there's no red flags and if it really is just unfamiliar and you just haven't had this kind of love before 
then I would say go for it. But I feel like you need to get clear with the universe about what you want. Because like I said, some of you are kind of sending out this mixed energy, these um, mixed signals. Some of you might be talking to more than one person. So that could also be it. But it's kind of saying just like get clear about what you want, you know, visualize it. What do you want your ideal person to be like? Because for some of you, I feel like this, this person is, um, they're good for you. But like, Maybe some of you aren't used to someone that's that shy or that awkward socially. You know what I mean? Or, or not used to someone that um, pays for everything or not used to someone that treats you like that. You know what I mean? Like it might just be unfamiliar. So it's kind of like saying though, like th that could be a really good thing though. If, what, if what's familiar is toxic, then it's good it's unfamiliar. But it's kind of saying like get clear about this. Like what what will you tolerate and what will you not tolerate in a relationship? Like... What do you really want? If this person is your dream person, but they're just a little bit more shy than, you know, your ideal type, is that okay with you? Is that something that you can handle? I mean, you know, if it is, it's like, just get clear and direct, basically, you know? But some of you are like, it's like your fears are getting in your way. It's like you're, you're having anxieties about this connection. And it's kind of... It's almost like confusing your spirit guides because some of you might be like falling for this person and then you like fight yourself on it and you're like, no, I'm not falling in love. I'm not falling in love. I'm not falling in love. I'm not ready for love. I don't know. This person isn't my usual type. This is this person's unfamiliar. I don't know if I could deal with them being so shy. Like I thought they were rejecting me, but it turns out they they weren't like, I don't understand what's going on. It's like maybe like this kind of confusion. And it's almost like your confusion is almost confusing your spirit guides too. They're like, cause they're listening to you and you're like, I'm in love. I'm not in love. I'm in love. I'm not in love. And they're like, okay, what, what do you want? Like, do you do what, where are we going with this? <laughs> you know? Because, I mean, they're, they're, you know, they're powerful beings. Spirit guides are powerful, but, like, they, they still get confused. And keep in mind, too, that, like, human language is, um, unless it's, like, a human ancestor, but, I mean, when it comes to, you know, angels, uh, you know, with the fae, gods and goddesses, these different beings, like, they, they communicate a little bit differently than we do. So sometimes they do get confused on wording, especially if like the energy is there. Like if you're saying, oh, I love this person, but like your energy is like fearful and like closed off, then they're going to be like, what? Like, you know what I mean? Like sometimes you have to kind of sit down with them and be like, okay, this is what I want. And it, it's good to also use positives. Like don't sit down and say, I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. Like instead say, I do want this. I do. You know what I mean? Like don't say, um, don't say, oh, I don't want someone who's shy. Say, I do want someone who's confident and assertive. Like use, does that make sense? Like use like the positive version of, you know, those phrases basically. Let's see what else we got here. Sense of belonging, home, safe space. Yeah, for some of you, it is just unfamiliar. Like you haven't, you know, if this is just coming or it's coming in or it's someone from your past that maybe there is, like you felt a connection there, but like there was like miscommunication, like, you thought it was too good to be true. They thought it was too good to be true. So you guys, your fear got in the way and you guys just kind of ended up pushing each other away, but you didn't mean to. It's like just all kinds of miscommunication here. But it's kind of saying like question what's from, you know, I think that you need to do some shadow work right now and kind of be introspective. It doesn't mean that you can't date, but I think that there's some important questions that you need to ask yourself because I feel like a lot of you are kind of confused and you're kind of going in circles with certain things. So I think that you need to step back and listen to your own intuition and um, ask some important questions like what feels like home to me? What feels safe to me? What feels right to me? What qualities, like list the qualities you want in a partner. Start really manifesting this start really focusing. You see how focused he or she is on this, this moon could be like an upcoming, like full moon or new moon cycle too. That's going to bring this in that you need to kind of focus on that energy, especially if you do witchcraft too, it might be saying that there, you might need to do some, um, like just some like road opening rituals and whatnot. But anyway, it's, it's kind of, it's, you know, what I'm getting from this is it's basically saying like, you know, ask yourself these questions, like what feels right for you? What feels like home to you? What feels safe for you? Because for a lot of you, I feel like what feels like home to you is toxic. A lot of you have these toxic childhoods or toxic patterns. And so what feels like home to you is someone not treating you well, someone, you know, being, you know, not being there for you, someone being negative. It's almost like it confirms your own fears. So when you do have someone that's that's doing all this for you, it's like you might almost be tempted to sabotage it and run because you're not used to it. 
or if you're used to men that are men or women that are super like kind of aggressive or like overly assertive and like you have this person that's kind of like more shy and sweet you're kind of like it's like unfamiliar you know what I mean it doesn't mean that you should go for someone that you're not in love with you know but it's it's just kind of saying like sometimes you really have to step out of your comfort zone to break certain patterns like sometimes it really isn't going to be exactly how you think it's going to be if you have these these mental patterns you really have to be kind of aware of those because your 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 true love might not be your usual type they might not it might not be that like love at first sight crazy passionate romantic just right off the bat because it it you know because maybe maybe every time it's been like that with someone it's ended up being toxic it's ended up being body language like you're drawn to these people based on subconscious patterns that you've been repeating for for years and years so it's like your person will feel like home to you like they should resonate you should feel good around them but you know for some it might start off as as more of like a friendship or just you know it, you know easing into it basically it it um I hope that makes sense. It's like, it, it just might not be your usual type, but it's like, they'll feel good to you on a soul level. Like you'll feel like you can tell them anything. You'll feel this drive to just be honest with them about everything. It's almost like this pure kind of innocent kind of connection. Like it'll feel different, but if you have it in your head of what love is supposed to look like, it might surprise you when this person is just kind of like, like you just feel calm. What is that quote? Like, God, what is there's some quote that's like basically says like you know the person that you feel nerve like that you have like these butterflies with might not be your person the person that you just feel like like calm and and happy like good around might be your person and it's like there were there were anxieties and there were fears but I feel like it was more like you know like I was saying in the beginning of the video it's like more like these fears based on getting hurt because it was so unfamiliar you're so you know what I mean like it wasn't it just might not have been what you expected. This could also be a relationship that's coming in for you and your spirit guides are wanting to give you a heads up that it, it might not come. You might be expecting it to come in, at a certain time or in a certain way and it might just completely throw you off guard the way that it comes in. Because like, you know, last uh, last month or a couple weeks ago when I did your reading, I kept getting that you felt rejected by someone, but really they were just kind of shy and a little bit insecure so it's like, I really feel like their fears, like you guys picked up on each other's fears, like I was saying, and that created issues. But it's like, it's weird because I get the fear, but I also get that there's like this sense of like a deep friendship, like a calm feeling, like you guys can be open with each other, even though the fear is also there at the same time. Does that make any sense? It's just, just unfamiliar, just unfamiliar energy, basically. So I think it's kind of just saying don't sabotage something just because it's not what you're used to, whether it's already come in or it's about to come in. It's just kind of telling you like, you know, if you're asking for love, but usually you go for people that are toxic, well, it's like, okay, your spirit guides are trying to bring you love, but it, you know, it might, it might not be someone that you're just like sure of right off the bat. It might be like, you know, at first, the first few weeks, you might be like, okay, this isn't, I'm not used to someone doing all this for me, or I'm not used to, to someone who's like this. Like it might be like a different personality than you expected. You know what I mean? Especially like with the shyness, I feel like some of you might not be used to people that are kind of more like shy and sweet like that. Some of you might be people used to people that are more aggressive. So it's like, you kind of have to communicate with this person in a different way. And I feel like either you're going back to them or they're coming back to you because you're having, you guys are having this realization like, oh, like I, like I wasn't being rejected. This person just had some communication issues. Like we just, we misunderstood each other or like they had some stuff going on and maybe they, um, they didn't mean to push you away, but maybe they were kind of like in their head about stuff. And now they're kind of recognizing like, oh, that person was actually like interested in me. Like I should have noticed them more might be popping up in their dreams, you know, because yeah, someone came off cold and guarded and distrusting in the past, but it's like they weren't, they didn't mean to be. I think that there was some like, there's some pride and there was some fear more than anything, like kind of someone like being set in their ways a little bit, like, 
Like it couldn't like sabotaging kind of energy. Like, oh, it couldn't be this easy. Love couldn't be this easy. They, this person's above me. There's no way they could be into me. You know, that like, I think most of them, it was them thinking of that. But for some of you, for some of you, they felt like that. And then that triggered you to also feel like that because you guys were, were so telepathically connected that it's like you picked up on their energy and like, it's like they were kind of reserved and kind of guarded. And then like, you kind of got it in your head like, oh, they think they're too good for me or they, they're they probably seeing someone else or whatever. So you kind of got guarded and then it like almost confirmed it for them. Like, yeah, see, this person's not really into me. See, they're guarded. Like, it's almost like they self-sabotage. But now it's like something's shifted though. I don't know if you guys have talked or maybe mutual friends have talked to them about you or something. Something came to light is what I'm getting here because they're or maybe they've just developed their confidence so now they're looking back at this and they're like oh crap this person actually was into me like like wait a second maybe just the situation has changed like something shifted yeah fast moving energy chaos sudden turn of events like things have just kind of changed for you guys so there's like an opening now and there wasn't really that opening there before I feel because all the miscommunication, I feel like it was like the wrong timing. Like it was like the right person for you, but maybe they just had a lot going on in their life or, or vice versa. But I feel like now is the right timing. Like a door is kind of opened. And um, like I said, you need to get clear with the universe about what exactly you want though. But it does feel like something's coming in quick. It does feel, I feel like in their personal life too, there was like a sudden turn of events. Um, I feel like there's something with an upcoming moon cycle for you guys as well. So be mindful of the, um, let's see, what do we have next? God, I haven't been keeping track lately. I feel like we just had, a, I feel like it's like the next one though. Is kind of what I'm getting here. I do feel like there's going to be passion and romance with this connection. Like you are going to have that. You are going to have that, but it might not come right away because like I said, for some of you, it's going to be unfamiliar. Some of you are kind of like, like you are into this person, but you're like, maybe they're too shy for me or like, this isn't. Like maybe they think they're too good for me or maybe like some of you are still kind of guarded because you did feel rejected for so long and now you're realizing that they were not trying to reject you, but it's still hurt. It's still stuck in your head. So maybe some of you, maybe like, you know, I think I just think you guys are like going to take some time really warming up to each other, but that is going to come. The passion, the romance, that energy is going to come, I feel. Like it will happen for you guys, but it just might take a minute. The divine, yeah, divine intervention, synchronicity, your spirit guides are ready to work for you. They're ready to bring you, you know, this passion. I see this as passion. I mean, it says codependency, but like channeling, I feel like for one thing, your guides are getting you out of codependent connections or getting you out of taught like addictions. And they've also been getting your person. If your person has addiction issues, like they're getting them out of it. I also see this as like passion, you know, like you see this like vampire couple here. I feel like your guides are like ready to work for you, but like you got to talk to them and let them know what you want. Cause I just, I just keep getting the, the like the energy of someone kind of being back and forth. Like I'm afraid, no way I'm going for this. I love this person. I'm afraid. No, I like back and forth. And it makes sense. Like when you, especially if it's so unfamiliar and you're, you, there is so much uncertainty for so long. And now all of a sudden this door is open and you're kind of like, wait a minute, I thought this wasn't for me. I thought this was off limits to me. I thought that it was over with this person. And all of a sudden this person is like, come, you know what I mean? Like all of a sudden this person's coming back around and you're just like, what the hell? Like, I thought it was, you know, I thought that wasn't going to happen for me. So you're like, the confusion makes sense, but it's kind of saying like, be introspective and like go inward and like, just kind of, you know, figure out what you want. And when you figure it out, tell your guides and be clear, you know, like, I do want this person. I am open to this person. Because your spirit guides are ready to work for you, but they just, I feel like some of your guides are kind of frustrated because they feel like you're sending mixed messages to them or they feel like you're not talking to them enough. So really, really sit and talk with your spirit guides because there are mutual feelings here. There is emotional depth here. Yeah, there was a power struggle with you for a while, but I feel like that's I feel like someone's taking control. Some of the, someone's like, you know what? I don't want the power struggle anymore. Like, I don't want like back and forth chaser chasing any, anymore. You know, like domination control. Someone's like, okay, something, something's got to give. Like, you know, willpower, strength, confidence. Someone's like, you know, it's time to move forward. Like, it's time for us to figure this out. I hope that makes sense. Um, if you'd like a private reading, just send me an email. Please subscribe if this resonates with you. Um, any donations are appreciated. My donation link is below and thank you guys for watching.